If you're preparing to be able to run off the grid for a prolonged period of time, then it's best to have a backup to your solar system, which in most cases is a fuel burning generator. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a traditional generator to recharge your solar batteries in case the sun's not shining. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping people get their household set up to be able to survive a prolonged loss of the electric grid. And so oftentimes that means we're installing a renewable energy solar with battery backup system. Now, for those of you that are preparing to be able to run off the grid for a prolonged period of time, we're talking about even months or years at a time, I always recommend to have a backup to your solar system so that you have an alternate means of charging batteries. And usually that's gonna be a traditional fuel burning generator, like the one that I have here. And so what I'm gonna show you in today's video is how you can use a traditional generator to quickly recharge your solar batteries so that if you experience a period of prolonged overcast weather where your solar panels aren't harvesting enough energy for the home, you can fire up that generator for a few hours, get the batteries charged back up so that your home is never gonna be without electricity. Let's take a look. Today we're on site at my family's home in central Virginia. And here we have installed the Flex Power Radian hybrid inverter system. So the system here, we have an 8,000 watt inverter charger and hooked up to our inverter charger, we actually have multiple power sources. I'm just gonna walk through them briefly. First, we have connection to the utility grid, which can be used to consume power to power loads in the house. It also can be used to export power when we have excess solar available for grid sell back to help reduce our electric bill. We also have the protected loads or the critical loads panel. This is what keeps power on to all the critical systems in the house on a normal day using utility power with solar supporting, but if the grid is down, it'll use solar power. Uh, and if it's evening hours, it'll use stored energy from inside the battery. We have our solar feed coming down from the roof here, which of course is used to charge the battery bank and provide DC power into the inverter. And then finally, we have the generator hookup. And this is what we're gonna be using today. So I'm gonna take you outside. And what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna cut utility power to the house to simulate a power outage. And then in a little while, we're gonna fire up the generator and show you how you can recharge your batteries using that fuel burning generator. Welcome back. We're on the outside of the home here now. And as you can see, we have our net meter installed. So we have a bi-directional connection with the power company. And what we're gonna be doing now is I'm actually gonna turn off the AC disconnect. This is the point at which the solar system is connected to the utility grid. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because it's going to simulate a utility outage and force the battery backup system to activate. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off here. And then we're gonna go back inside, let it run for a little while so that the batteries drain down a bit and then we're gonna fire up the generator and show you how you can recharge the batteries. Okay, so we're back here in the garage at the FlexPower hybrid inverter system. You can actually hear the cooling fan on the inverter is running because we actually had some heavy loads running to draw the battery down as we're running our simulation here. So looking here at my control panel, I can see that the battery has gone from 100% down to 95%. And now what we're gonna do is fire up the generator and when the generator is running, not only will it carry the loads running in the house, but it will also begin to recharge the battery. So before we fire the generator, you want to make sure that you have the charger function active. Uh, these inverter chargers, in many times when they're initially programmed, the charger function is turned off. And that's done primarily to prevent you from using utility power to charge your batteries, which would end up costing you more money. Uh, in our case, we only want to use uh, charging from an AC power source if it's the generator that we're using. So I'm just going to go into the control panel here. And so I'm going to press my lock button here. The code that you need to enter is 141, which unlocks the uh, sort of the administrator settings for your solar equipment. I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to go to the inverter settings. And then the second option here where it says AC input and current limit. So the key things on this screen that I'm looking for, number one is I wanna make sure that charger control is on. So that way 
the inverter will charge the batteries using the AC power source. The other thing I want to make sure I set here is my generator input limit and my charger input limit. Um, at my home here, I have a 7,500 watt Honda engine generator, which means that at full load, the generator is able to provide approximately 32 amps of power. So I have my setting here at 30 amps, uh, just to kind of give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a buffer, because what I don't want is I don't want the uh, Radian inverter to try to draw more power out of the generator than what the generator is capable of handling, which could actually cause the generator to overload and shut down. So make sure that the generator input limit and the charger uh, input limit does not exceed the power rating on your generator. I can see that everything is set properly here then. I've got 30 amps for my charger limit. I've got the charger control on. I'm just gonna go back up here to the home screen. And now we're gonna fire up the generator and go ahead and plug that in. Okay, we're back outside now. I have my Honda Black Max generator. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire the generator up, let it get warmed up. And then once the generator is on and running, I'm actually gonna plug my generator cable into the house end first. And the reason we do that, whenever you're making an electrical connection, you wanna make the connection when the line is dead, and then we actually connect the power source as our final connection. So let's go ahead and get the generator running, and then we'll move on to the next step. Plug the house side in first. And now we'll connect our power source. Now let's go back inside and take a look at how the inverter is responding. Okay, we're back inside now, taking back a look at the flex power radiant system. And I can see now that my generator power source has come online and registered. And if you trace the arrows here, what this is showing me is that I have power coming in from the generator. I've also have power coming in from my solar array contributing to charge back into the battery bank. My battery right now is at 95% and it is being charged right now. So as we let the system run for some time, you'll see the battery start to come back up back towards 100% full charge. We'll let this run for a little while and then we'll come back and show you the, um, the result. One more thing I wanna show you here while the generator is charging. If you press your inverter button, you can actually get a breakdown of how the AC power is being used within the system. So right now, what we have happening is 3.7 kilowatts is coming off the generator. Of that, 0.9 kilowatts, now 0.7, is being used to power the loads within the house. And then the remaining balance of 2.7 kilowatts is what's being charged back into the battery. So uh, go ahead and back here to the home screen. But if you ever need to see a, a breakdown of how the generator power is being used, you press your inverter button and it'll show you how much is coming out and how much is being split between the loads and the battery charging. Okay, so we're back now. We've let the generator run for about 15 minutes and if you'll notice here on the display, our battery status has now increased from 95% and now up to 96% and it's still being charged. So, this has just been a short demonstration of how you can use a portable generator to recharge your solar batteries using the hybrid inverter system. Uh, as always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.